in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the special merciful, the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar ibn Abid and this is our lecture 11, Properties of Human Language and in this lecture we are going to look at arbitrariness. In last lecture I told you about displacement and in the second last lecture I told you about reflexivity which were the two properties of human language as well. So let's start. So first of all look at the definition a property of language describing the fact that there is no natural connection between a linguistic form and its meaning. No natural connection between a linguistic form and its meaning. So it's general and we know. So once again uh, as I revised uh, this thing many times that we know these properties of human language but what is that in linguistics there is just a term for it that is arbitrariness otherwise we know these terms or uh, we know the, these concepts but we don't know the terms because in each subjects there is term for a specific thing so uh, therefore uh, we don't know what is arbitrariness in this sense although we know arbitrariness mean no connection or uh, you can say null that it uh, we uh, we usually use this word that this is arbitrary that there is no solution though no end of it no connection between two things it is arbitrary but, but in linguistics arbitrariness is something different so it suggests that a word in any language signifies human unique quality for example in each language there is a word and uh, for example, I have uh, our um, cat. We have cat in English, but we have Billy in Urdu, and we have Salab in Arabic. So, in each language, a same word is describe uh, a same form, or oh, sorry, a same object is describing by different words. So, this is the arbitrariness. Uh, I'll give you a few examples as well in next slide. Uh, or you can say a same object in different languages is described differently uh, let us look at some example for example in english we say dog in arab uh, urdu we say kutta in arabic we say kalb so the uh, this is what we say arbitrariness that in each language the same word the same uh, hairy object with four legs which we call dog is describing with different linguistic forms similarly if we look at rabbit in urdu it is khargosh in uh, arabic it is arnab arnab uh, english cat urdu billy and arabic ot and similarly deer in english uh, in urdu we call it hiran and in arabic we call it al ghazal so the same object is uh, describing uh, by different uh, words in different languages so this connection is called arbitrariness that there is no natural connection if there is a natural connection then each word should be pronounced with same form in each language but there is no natural connection it is uh, the unique quality of human being as i have uh, discussed here that we make different words in different languages we make different words uh, but there is a minute connection or we try to make some connection between words and their uh, uh, between objects and their uh, forms for example now you can see here uh, this picture I have taken from the study of language ball so it has made a little bit round for example these L so that uh, the ball looks like a real ball similarly in fall you can see that these L are falling these L are falling so there is also uh, someone has tried to make the connection small so small mean little very short so this is written small similarly tall the word has been written very tall so, uh, uh, try to make that connection similarly wall you can see these are like bricks that a wall is made of bricks so uh, someone has tried to make uh, that connection but uh, uh, once again 
uh, you can say that this type of game only emphasizes the arbitrariness of the connection that normally exists between a word and its meaning just like uh, a word and its meaning is arbitrary a word and its meaning has arbitrary connection for example uh, punch uh, p u n c h punch mean to hit someone with your hand closed so we have made this meaning that what is the meaning of punch we have made that word that when someone with close hand with close fist hit someone it will be called punch but on the other hand the same action in urdu it will call mukka like this so we have made these connection and we have uh, given a name to every action so just like a name and its meaning a word or its meaning have arbitrary connection similarly these words have also arbitrary connection uh, they uh, people have just created that fall should be like uh, written like this or small should be written like this because small means short so we have created these connections uh, by self by ourselves so these are also arbitrary connection so it is possible uh, to make word fit the concept then in, uh, indicate as i have told you the example you can uh, read these as well by stopping this video uh, now there is another term onomatopoeia actually this is the very difficult pronunciation onomatopoeia uh, onomatopoeia uh, like this we can pronounce this word so what is uh, onomatopoeia so words containing sounds similar to the noises they describe for example bang bang when uh, there is a bomb blast or uh, there is something uh, 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 fell uh, greatly by great force uh, the sound produced is bang similarly cuckoo uh, a bird which produce the same sound so we have given the same word by imitating that, that sound as we have discussed uh, this property in the natural sound source of language uh, the bang cuckoo so there are some words in language with sounds that seem to echo the sounds of objects or activities and hands seem to have a less arbitrary connection so because cuckoo is the same sound uh, which is which is spoken by a word uh, by a bird and we have uh, imitate that sound cuckoo and we have made that word as well so now there is a you can say a connection between a sound and a word other example you can say splash when you uh, drop some water on the you can say on the floor or when the water is falling in the waterfall through waterfall cuckoo the sound of a bird as i have told you similarly uh, slurp for example uh, i have a glass of water and now i am going to slurp so this is called slurp a large uh, a loud uh, noising sound uh, when you drink something once again so this is slurp on the other hand squelch what is squelch for example uh, you know uh, sometimes uh, we have uh, a place where is, there is a lot of mud and water so this uh, mud becomes very thick with water and when if you put something uh, some stick in that mud and uh, you put it out so the sound will produce like squelch uh, similarly were were uh, the pronunciation is like this of this word this is also a similar sound like slurp uh, however such sounds are very limited in languages uh, onomatopoeic sounds are very uh, much uh, you can say very much limited in all languages most of the words have uh, don't have these effects of onomatopoeia now if we look at animals uh, does arbitrariness can uh, available in animals or not so we can see that uh, in the majority of animals or you can say in all animals uh, they have they don't have arbitrariness in their uh, language uh, and there is a natural connection in uh, animals uh, communication or you can say a fixed connection uh, whether you have a lion of africa or whether you have a lion of asia 
they will both understand each other they could understand each other either you have a cat of russia or either you have a cat of america but both of these cats can understand each other so there is a natural connection between uh, the language of animals so for the majority of animal signals there does appear to be a clear connection between the conveyed message and the signal used to convey it uh, uh, and uh, once again uh, the, this impression is due to the fact that animals have limited number of signals for communication so therefore they have uh, direct connection between what they say and what they do each variety of animal communication consists of limited set of vocal or gestural forms once again there is a limitation in vocal and gestural forms of animals so therefore uh, there is connection natural connection no arbitrariness and many of these forms are only used in specific situation uh, we have uh, seen animals uh, in reality as well as uh, through channels that when animals want to establish their territory or when animals want to mate with each other so at that time they produce different gestures they produce different sounds and once again either it is the animal of africa or either it is the uh, it is an animal of uh, you can say asia either uh, it is uh, a lion a cat a tiger of asia or of europe or of africa so all of these uh, will produce similar sounds during mating all of uh, these will produce uh, similar sound during establishing their territory so animals uh, don't have arbitrariness in their language uh, but they have natural connection or you can say fixed connection uh, their one sound or one uh, you can say gesture is used for a single uh, you can say definition a single action so this is arbitrariness in animals and human language and the next lecture will be about cultural transmission so i hope you would have understood this lecture you can point out any mistakes you can point out pros and cons in my videos in the comments box so that i could make these videos more better and the same video which i uh, or the same lecture which i have just discussed you can watch this lecture in urdu as well by clicking the link in the description below so don't forget to give your feedback to member in the prayers to Zakalo Khairan and thank you.